Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play more of our Brandenburg campaign for Europe Universalis 4. I reloaded and, uh, I don't know, nothing's changed. Nothing's changed up here with these, these provinces which very clearly have high, high revolt risk and should totally, totally be like 80% chance of increasing every month. But, eh, yeah, yeah, whatever. I guess it's, I don't know, it's just, it's not doing it. I mean, maybe if that's the case, we should just click the local autonomy button. I mean, even this one, Bastard Gotland. Nothing. Hey! Interesting, so clicking that button made Vaster Gotland show up. Okay. I'm thinking it had something to do with the tag switch. Well, hey, we're playing in Iron Man mode, so you gotta take advantage of the opportunities when they show up. Alright, hey, Burgundy, you're my little buddy, aren't you? Go siege that. Go. Go. Go siege it. Take this army right there. There you go. No, where are you going? Stop it. Sit there. You're gonna go lose, aren't you? Hmm. Well, these supply limits are not very good. We'll send three quarters of the army forward. And Muscovy's really not doing so hot. They've got pretty crappy technology. Um. Our goal is to get to like 15,000 manpower and then we can end the war. Austria, they tell us of the Evangelical Union. After Emperor Leopold VIII rejected the Protestant confessional positions at the Imperial Parma Parliament, the Protestant Imperial Estates formed the League of Schmal Schmalkalden. The joint army and treasury and seeking ties abroad, the German Catholic states, feeling threatened by this new alliance, have regrouped into the Catholic into a Catholic League. Okay, hey, it's fired. Utrecht has joined the Protestant League against their common foes in the Empire. Oldenburg has joined. Gallery has joined. So that's gotta be this thing. Cannot join due to the following reasons. We cannot join or leave a league while at war. Okay. Cool, it's finally happening. Well, I wanna... I wanna be the leader. I wanna be the best, I wanna become the emperor. Bohemia has joined. Okay, we need 15,000 manpower. We need more armories. Okay, what over here is cord? Oh, it's all cord, obviously. Right. Get some armories going. We'll get uh, an armory here. We'll get some training fields. We must militarize. There goes all of our money. Well, that is what it's for, after all. Denmark has joined. Oh, no. Hey, Spain, show them who's boss. Well, I'm going to want Semigalia as well. I guess we'll park part of the army up there. We'll suffer a tiny bit of attrition. I really wanted to let my entire army... Are you going to take a straight crossing? Okay. If you think that's a good idea... I guess, um... Oh, shoot. Somehow he managed to avoid the... Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, no penalty, but... Our, uh, superior discipline, I think, is just gonna pay off. Man, discipline is so good. I've actually never played the game and, like, done a big, huge focus on discipline. Like I said, this is my first time playing as Brandenburg, so... Man, it's way better than I even thought. Alright, so we'll, uh... We'll group up. We'll select army, we'll detach mercenaries, and we'll leave. 
and then we'll grab a single infantry, put in charge a leader with siege value, and then go do that. We seem to have lost our advisor, another trade efficiency guy. Yeah. We could always blockade this. That seems like work. Oh my god, look at that. Yeah, that seems fair. I get a 132, he gets a 666. We could upgrade our government type. We're kind of ahead of time on, on administrative points. I like the administrative monarchy. Um, Actually, I mean, this is the one we need. Discipline. I mean, we just keep doing discipline. It's just so good. But getting something that helps reduce our uh, autonomy would be nice. On the other hand, the national unrest and unjustified demands are both really good, too. Now, one of these things used to reduce the... It reduced the... Um, Years of Nationalism by 5, and I was told that this can only display 3 at once, and it still does do it, even though it doesn't say it, which is stupid. But, I don't remember which one it was. I think it was like, Constitutional mar Monarchy, I think. So that would be a good one. The Discipline Man, the Discipline. Yeah, trading unjustified demands for better discipline and autonomy would be really good, but that's a long ways off. So the real question is, do we want to trade a little bit of unrest? I think so. I think the autonomy change is just so, so worth it. I'm just going to do it. I mean, that's that doubles the rate that it comes down, and it allows it to come down during war. And we're going to be at war a lot, so allowing it to tick down I think is really good. Alright, come on guys. Get that manpower back. Only drawback is we're not we don't have any artillery in these. Here. Give me Ah, uh, whatever. Just just take the whole stack of artillery and just That's silly. Put four on each of them. Hey, you know what? There's a fort level map mode now. Kind of looks cool. Fort level 3, fort level 3, fort level 1. It's pretty useful. So we're suffering a little bit of attrition on the artillery being out here, but they are going to provide a 2 bonus. Which seems pretty good. And this is, this is really, I just want these three. I just want the two cores, and I want the one that we took the mission for. Because we're already at 68% overextension. But we've, we've also got to get our manpower back before we can end it. So we take these three, and then we just kind of back off and wait. Oh, hey there, Muscovy. Swedish Patriots. Vaster Gotland. Croatian nationalists. Yeah. Totally. I mean, we do have a lot of indivi individual war score against Hungary since, um... I think we just piece them out, right? If we just take, like... War reparations... And their money... Oh, I'm offering tribute. What the hell? Ooh, that was dangerous. War reparations. That was really bad. I was surprised they had that much money. Okay, this won't piss off Austria, even though they have cores and claims and stuff. I don't want to pay Diplo points. Just for Austria to get land back. That's dumb. 
Besides, Austria is going to be my my enemy in the League Wars. So yeah, we'll annul your treaties and stuff. We will, um... That's really about it. Yeah, go away. There goes a lot of our war score against Muscovy, though. That's okay. Oh, shoot, right. I forgot about that. It's okay. We'll reinforce pretty quick. All of a sudden, 60,000 men. Good luck, Muscovy. Still, we did lose troops. And that's never a good thing. Alright, let's grab... I think it was you. We just lost Johan. Could be a good time to reroll. There we go. Now that's what I'm talking about. Holy crap. 364. No river crossings to worry about, and he's a 36. He's nuts. He's amazing. That is sweet. Okay. Well... We're at 7,000 manpower. We're gonna have to consolidate regiments. On all stacks. See if we can avoid paying for those. You need 3,000 men. You know what I think I'm gonna do is actually... Take these... Really, really weak ones. And I might, um, well, you know, we are about to finish coring. Maybe we won't have to worry about the Peasants' War because coring will go away. But if that's the case, then I should just be at war again. Alright, stability drop. We just lost two stability because our ruler died. Oh well. It's, I mean, it's just, I still think it's, God, these rulers are just so bad. Every one of them. They're just so crap. Hate them all. Hmm. Alright, so it's just the siege guy with all artillery. Now, if they show up in Riga again, that's going to be kind of dangerous, but... Royal Marriage of Norway? They have inferior prestige and legitimacy. That's fine. Nice work, Spain. What, what what are you doing there? Apparently Muscovy has fully defensive. It's kind of annoying. Muscovy's not really looking forward to being in this war. So, yeah, if you were to give me back my two cores, that is barely any peace offer value at all. It's good. And you're going to come in here and cause me to suffer attrition, aren't you? Four artillery happens at eight. Might as well, might as well grab one of these guys. Hey man, it's it's ten troops per month. It adds up. Maybe I should take more advantage. Move in. Well, Muscovy's not a rival yet. That's the problem. So we wouldn't be getting the bonus. Um meant like the really reduced cost for provinces we don't have claims to. Like even just taking this one's probably gonna cost diplo points. Twenty. Yeah. Yep, I think we just go for this. Although getting their like war reparations from them would be really good too. So now we hang out at peace for a bit. None of these policies interest me. Actually haven't spent any time looking at the policies since they changed him. It's like if we took offensive. Here are the potential policies. Land uh, leader siege plus one, siege ability plus ten if we took innovative. The two that we have right now, so diplomatic reputation plus one, 
Another aggressive expansion impact, minus 10. That'd be minus 50% aggressive expansion already. It's crazy. Huh. There's another minus 10 here. I wonder how much you could stack. I wonder if you could get like negative 100% aggressive expansion. Alright, thanks dude. Here, um, one of you guys, I don't care, Ansbach, Spain, Wurzburg, Burgundy, Spain, go, go siege stuff. Stop standing there, suffer attrition in a fully defensive territory. And also, I insist that fully defensive should not apply in occupied land. That's just silly. I control this territory. We shouldn't be suffering attrition for Muscovy's ideas when they don't control it. When, when it's being sieged? Absolutely. When you're marching through the land? Absolutely. But after you occupy it? And also the same thing for winters, like occupied territory shouldn't suffer winters bonuses. My opinion. Just my opinion, man. Alright, well, we've definitely avoided the Peasants' War. I'm almost positive it would have fired. It can still fire up for another 48 years. No, they're just sitting there. They don't want to do anything. Oh, hi. We found you. Okay. Building a dry dock or two. We already have one in Lubick. Raise our naval force limit a bit. Well, training fields are almost always a good investment. Having more manpower. It's always worked out for me in the past. So we're finally at 10% war score. They'll probably just give us all three. Yeah, look at that. We don't even need anything else. We did all three in war reparations. That's probably what we're going to do. Hey, Spain listened. Maybe now that it's cord, it's going to show up? Nope. The autonomy is just messed up in these provinces because of the core chain. The, uh, Tag switch. Pretty weird. Okay, so, um, our overextension is at 8%, about to be 0. Taking this will keep us really low. We're only going to be at 4% overextension from this, so. Do we want to really punish them? No. No, we just want to get at peace. Trying to get our autonomy down. Trying to build up our navy a bit. We want to join the Protestant League. Question is, how long is it really going to take? We have a lot of land. I want their income. Demands exceed war score. So length of war will go down, war score will go up, and their war exhaustion will go up. It's going to just take maybe six months. No, nope, not even. Look at that. They're already at negative two. Oh, you know what we can do? I know what we can do. Let's go blockade. That'll make it happen. Close. There we go. Come on, give me your money. Give me your money too. Anything we can do to screw over Russia. That battle might do it. Okay. War reparations, three provinces, 152 ducats. 
I like it. Okay, that war's over. Alright, I'm gonna get the navy together. We need to select another rival, probably gonna be Muscovy. Problem is that we cannot um, embargo them, but we're doing okay for power projection right now. We don't want to pick these guys, although Great Britain is going to become an enemy at some point. Lithuania. Yeah, we could eat Lithuania. Ah, Lithuania has increased coring cost. Damn. We'll just pick Muscovy. Alright, cool. I'm going to take a break here. Uh, Muscovy is threatened by us. They just started improving relations. Yeah, I'm going to take a break here. I will see you in the next video. I hope. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.